Hello, in this video we're going to derive the mean, the variance, and the covariance of a Dirichlet distribution. And I have a background video called Derivation of the Dirichlet Distribution if you want a little more information on the derivation of this. But this is the general form of a Dirichlet Distribution <coughs> where these YIs have to add to 1 and these alpha I's were when we add them all we're just going to call that alpha zero or alpha naught. That's going to help in our notation. Makes it a little tighter. So now the mean, we now go into a little more detail of the mean and then the second moment and variance and covariance I'll be able to skip some steps based on the detail of this step. So the mean is you stick in yj times the density and integrate it over all possible values. So that y1 through yk go from 0 to 1 with the restriction that they sum to 1. And so this is the region that we're integrating over. So what we do here is we take out anything that doesn't have a yi. So that comes out, which is what this is. All these come out, which is what this is. Now, what? and so these integrations are here. I just didn't put zeros and ones and and our restriction. What we do here is we multiply by 1. So this is this. This is uh, gamma of, of alpha j plus 1, same here, and then this is the product of all the others, but not the jth term. So this is, we're multiplying this expression by 1, which is the, these two. And then we have um, this j comes into the jth one, so here we're summing from i equals 1 to k, but not the jth term. That's what this is. For the jth term, we have to combine that in. So we get uh, alpha j plus 1 minus 1. Well, this right here is a Dirichlet distribution, you know, integrating over all the range. So this is 1. So we're only left with this piece right here. And so now on the next steps that I do, not in, it, we're where you incorporate that and then you multiply by one, this integrates to one. We're going to skip kind of that step from here on. But now these, so this product cancels with all of those except for it leaves the jth term. And that's what we get here. And then we, and then the, just the properties of the gamma. So this piece right here is alpha zero times gamma of, of alpha and so those cancel leaving alpha zero here this is uh, alpha j times gamma of j and so those cancel leaving alpha j and so this is the mean of a Dirichlet distribution of one of the variables yj now the second moment is very similar so we have to take the we stick in y, yi squared and then this is the density and then we do this trick up here where we incorporate that into the ith term, and oh, well, I call it J here, but oh, it's J, yeah. So this, but that should be a J, and then um, and so and so this gets incorporated into the Jth term here, and then you have to multiply by a well-chosen one and we're left with this and it reduces to this and then this is uh, alpha plus one times alpha gamma of alpha and then those cancel and it leaves this and the same way for these terms it leaves that but now that we have the mean in the second moment we can calculate the variance so the variance is you know this formula here so we plug in what we know and then we simplify and it reduces to this and so this is the variance of yj one of the uh, Dirichlet variables now let's look at the uh, covariance so let's find the product moment here that says stick in yj and yl I ran because we use k in the distribution and so I, I used an l here now both of those get incorporated into this and so there's two terms that 
that have to be incorporated and then you multiply by a well chosen one and you're left with this right here and then you get all kinds of cancellations and we're left with this so this is the product moment for a Dirichlet distribution but now we use that in the covariance the covariance is the expected value of this product times the minus the means so we plug in what we know and then the means is this product we get a like denominator and simplify cancel and that's it so this is the um, covariance of a Dirichlet distribution and it's a negatively correlated which is what we expect um, and that's all I have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye